Alright yo, what's going on my producer friends? It is your boy Q. If you're already subscribed, welcome back to another episode of Q Timber. If you're new here, go down and hit that subscribe button and right next to it is that bell button. If you hit that, you're going to be notified every single time I upload for Q Timber. If you don't know what Q Timber is, it's basically where I upload every single day in September. I'm doing a little 30 day challenge, so there's going to be 30 videos in 30 days. Come along for the ride. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be making a cook up from scratch for Sofago. I mean, Fago has been blowing up like crazy recently, really going up there. It's almost like you can't even call him an underground artist anymore because he's doing I mean, crazy numbers. Yeah, it seems like you guys have been enjoying enjoying the cook-up videos from scratch, the nav one, the yeet one. So we're just gonna continue along with that and make a little melody and beat from scratch for Sofago. And then you guys already know how I roll. We're of course gonna do a little freestyle at the end with one of my vocal presets. So if you guys wanna see something that might turn into some funny stuff or it might be a cool song, you never know what happens with these freestyles. Make sure you stay tuned for that because at the end of the beat, we will do that. But yeah, before we jump into FL Studio, make sure you guys hit that like button. Of course, if you guys can leave a comment down below for the next video, I'm trying to do like whatever you guys want me to do. If you wanna see something special, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll make sure to do that for the next video. But enough talking, let's get in FL Studio and I'll show you guys how to make yourself a beat. All right, all right. So like I said, this is from scratch and basically I just try and get these videos tuned up a little bit just to make it a little quicker. But all I have right here is literally the Surge plugin and I have this preset called Hasselhoff. And then I have the BPM set to 143. And I also have the scale highlighting set in E minor, I believe. Yeah, E natural minor. Now all we're going to do is make a simple triad. And just try and build a melody from there. Let's get into it. So I'm going to duplicate this over for 8 and just try and make it a little bit more unique. Cool, so now I brought that down to D minor and I'm just gonna route this to mix track number one and we're just gonna EQ that sound because those high that high end comes in the second part of the eight bars, just really piercing. So we're just gonna pull some of that out. Then we're just going to make this a little louder. That's a pretty cool bass sound. So we're just going to clone this Surge plugin. By the way, this is a free plugin. So if you guys want to go cop that, it's Google like Surge VST or whatever. And uh, it's free. Maybe we can find like a cool little pad or something. Let's go to the pad section.
Cool, so that pad sounds pretty cool, so we're just going to EQ this out a little bit too. I like this a little bit more, but we're just going to shorten these. You just hit Shift D on your keyboard to make them the size of whatever your magnet is set to. And then we're going to duplicate this over. All right, so I think it is time for a lead. So we're going to go here and surge again and just find some random leads. Actually, like this one. So uh, let's just see if we could get a little cool top melody. All right, cool. So I like this. So we're just going to find probably like one more patch just to uh, kind of stack the main melody, make it sound a little bit better. Yeah, this is perfect. So uh, last thing we're going to do is just find a bass. Actually, like this first one, we're just going to bring the attack up a little bit. And then we're going to route that to Mix Track 5. And what we're going to do here is take all the melodic elements, right click this open track, route to this track only. And we're going to add a fruity parametric EQ. Go to the third preset and just pull all out of that, pull all the bass out. All right, cool. So now we're going to split by channel and just arrange this a bit. Get that over a bunch. And then I'm just going to save this in my loops folder. And then we're going to add the drums. We're going to render this out real quick. Perfect. So now what I've been doing when I make my beats is I just mute all of these after I render the loop out. And then I go to my loops folder and to refresh the loop folder because we just rendered it. You just click this button twice. Put a little loops right here. September and it should be right here. We'll just drag that in and we're just gonna cut it up like this and then just cut out those in between pieces. And then like always, we make that bass unique and we just track it out and then track out the melody. Now what we're gonna do is just duplicate that over and delete the bass. We're gonna new pattern called drums. We're gonna start with the drums here.
right, and that is it for the drums. So what we're gonna do here is click split by channel, and we're just gonna bring all the drums out here. And before we do any type of arrangement, we're gonna go to where the melody is routed, and we're going to add. We're gonna add a fruity parametric EQ. Bring out the low end. Because what I'm gonna do here is add a plugin by way is called Sound Shifter, and we're gonna bring it down an octave. And then we're gonna create an automation clip on that. Grab this effect from my kit called Dash and we're gonna throw it right here. I'm just gonna track that out and bring down the volume a bit. We're also gonna route all the drums to a mixture track. Do this just by hitting Control Shift L. Alright, yeah, so that's the beat right there. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and throw on my vocal mixing template volume two. I wanna cop that, it looks like this, and it's available at quindababa.com along with the drum kit we use in this video. But let's uh do that real quick, huh? I gotta turn it down, I gotta turn it down. I wanna hear your sound. Not here to turn you down, and I wanna hear your sound. Yeah, I gotta turn you down, I wanna hear your sound. I gotta turn you down. I read it Tesla go. I read it Tesla goes. I read it Tesla goes. I put it Tesla goes. I put it Tesla and goes. I put it Tesla and goes. I put it Tesla and goes. I wanna fuck on these hoes. Make it go right to the bank. Make it go right to the bank. Shake it out, fuck it out. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. Uh, the camera cut out. I don't know when it did again. Uh, I don't know why it did that. But whatever, it doesn't really matter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button as well, and turn those post notifications on. As always, leave a comment and let me know what you guys want to see next. But for right now, that's all I got in this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.